What's up guys? I know most of you guys are probably getting into turkey season and turkey hunting videos and stuff already. But uh, this is going to be my last trap video that I'm going to post. And uh, I ended up catching 19 coyotes, 2 foxes, and uh, a bunch of coons and possums as you guys probably tell from the title. But uh, anyway, me and Gucci have kind of been taking a break and trying to finish up school and stuff. And uh, so we've been really busy with that and uh, we haven't really had a whole lot of time to post videos and stuff. And this video took me a really long time to edit and stuff and uh with the with the time i had but uh it's gonna be my last trap video this year then we're gonna get into some turkey hunting videos and uh this footage isn't the best or anything it's kind of hard to self-film trap videos and stuff but uh anyways hope you guys enjoy it and i'll let you guys get into it all right guys don't really know what day it is i'm totally lost on that but uh I'm gonna go out and check out my traps today pulled a bunch yesterday and I'm gonna reset some of those ones I pulled um, in places closer up kind of by our house so it doesn't take me quite as long to uh, check my traps but anyway I'm gonna go do that I've been trapping probably now for I don't even know two and a half three weeks anyway and I've got 13 coyotes fox and a whole bunch of kings and possums but uh not quite average in one a day but there was a good week there where I had a big old dry spell and couldn't catch anything. But anyway, I'm gonna go check them all today and put out some more. So. trap of the day. Got a big old sneaking yoad in it. Nice big old yoad. That's the third coyote I've caught this year. Just in that one spot. Just a great bottleneck. There's all the river bottoms and everything. Just kind of a big dip right here. You can see this big trail going to the CRP. Comes right through here and right underneath that fence and caught him perfectly. Nice big old yoad. When I reset this, I'll probably, uh, I'll take two of the snares off there to where it's a lot shorter of a catch circle. Just the other day, it was a lot easier just to feed another snare through it and um, set it back up um, instead of pulling that earth anchor out and everything. <coughs> it's a little bit of cold still, but it didn't stop me from trapping. I'm going to go ahead and take care of this guy with my 22 and I'll get back to you. And his uh, his head came down towards my hand. I tripped it out of there. So the bad thing about traps, once you catch a cow out in a snare, they're totally ruined, as you can tell. But. I'm okay with that. I got my reset there. You want it about two inches above the ground or whatever, because if you really think about it, their feet are gonna be down there. Their head is just gonna slip through the top part right here. Nice pretty coyote. Another one down is 14 for the year, so I'm really excited about that. My record last year is 12, so I'm pumped. Yeah, he didn't bleed that much either. Shot him in the lungs, barely left any blood, so. This should be a good spot for in the future days, so. All right, I'm gonna load this guy up, and I'll move on to the next one. All right, guys, I'm up by these old buildings. You can see I got one right here. He climbed the tree. But nice, pretty coon, get him taken care of. <coughs> get him up there, coon the coyote. It's a good mixture. Now I'm moving on down the river. Looky what we got here, folks. Nice, pretty coyote. Right where I thought there might be one. Perfect. Well, look at him. There's this huge trail going right here coming down to these cows, and it was just perfect. Big old coyote. Oh, it's sweet. Oh, let's go. Hey, easy there. Sassy little thing. 
pretty coyote. Perfect neck catch. Stinking go. No, my goodness. Scared me. Alright, I'm gonna go take care of it real quick. Anyway, I reset one more snare down there on the same path here in case Kyle comes and check this out. And I'm gonna check the rest, I guess, and start pulling some over at this far place down here because I don't wanna have to drive down there every day whenever I start back school. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. <sighs> you guys don't believe what happened. It's on my way home here, just driving the road. And uh, I looked right down here. Right up to the next one of the cedar trees down there. I see this giant, it's kind of a big old ball on the ground or whatever. And, and it didn't move anything, so I came back through here, stopped right here. All of a sudden, a fox picks up his head. I'm like, oh shoot, 60, 70 yards right there, just cuddled up on that hillside. And he was staring at me, and so I just didn't move. Finally, put his head back down, went back to sleeping. So I started to grab a 22 mag, but I was grabbing it, and I had it all tangled up in these all these snares. And stakes and stuff. One of these snakes, stakes was caught on the 22 mag and it slipped. And Dean, he put his head back up, and then he started. He gets up and starts slowly walking down that way. I almost had the sights on him at one point, but then he just went over the hill. So. I got him. Come here. There we go. Oh, big old blossom. Oh, jeez. All these dang snares. If I wouldn't have pulled any snares today, I could have got that fox. But, uh, oh well. That's probably gonna be it for today. I checked the rest of my traps, so. I'll be back at it again tomorrow checking them, so stay tuned. All right, guys. Today it's supposed to there's supposed to be snow coming around like one o'clock. It's about like 10:30 now, and it's supposed to lightly snow about one o'clock, and it's supposed to snow all through the night tonight, and into Saturday morning. They're supposed to get like five to, or four to eight inches or something. So we're supposed to get quite a bit, which I'm really pumped about for uh, trapping because it's usually pretty good. It's usually pretty good whenever you have snow on the ground and stuff. It's actually raining right now. It's like sleeting. That's fun. But I'll just have to keep the camera covered unless I get one, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to go check my trap. So stay tuned. Hey, get out of the way. Shoot. Yes, got our fox. You kidding? Let's go! Oh, sweet! Oh, you kidding? Man, I was hoping I'd catch this little sucker. The other day, he was over on this hillside over here, sleeping in the sun. I tried to get him with my 22 mag, but he heard me. He took off, and I chased him, and I couldn't find him. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna set a dang snare, snare here because I bet he runs this path some. And just this path right along the road here. And sure enough, the next, like, two days after that. Oh, let's go. Just before the snow. That is a pretty fox. Look at that white tip on his tail. This dude's like hyper. Stick and go. Pretty fox. Let's stick it. Oh my goodness. I love their black feet. That is the prettiest thing on a fox. Besides their tail, actually. I love catching foxes. That's the second one this year, and they're so pretty. 
I guarantee it's the same fox I had on the hillside over there. Yeah. Those paws are so pretty. Gorgeous black white tip on his tail. Oh, let's go. All right, well, I'm gonna go take care of him real quick. Look at those feet. See how black those are? Absolutely love that. Purdy fox. Take this guy up to the foiler and then I'll uh, reset this trap. Sweet. Good way to start off the day. Just like that. Alright guys, well my cotton bear is not here. Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, sweet. Nice little possum. That worked so perfectly. I had that set right there and he just went right into it. Just like he was supposed to. Well, we got a possum. So, I'm gonna reset this and then I got a kite one over here. Kite snare, I'll check. All right guys, right back in this corner back here. This is where I'm gonna put my deer carcasses. I'm gonna put a deer carcass here, stake it down, put a snare around his neck. And I'm gonna put a snare there, a snare there, and a snare in this path to really try to catch this pack of coyotes because there's a pack of three or four coyotes that run in this field every other day or every other three days. So that's my plan. I'm not sure if it'll work the best, but uh, I, mean, I would, if I was a coyote and it was freezing temperatures and there was snow on the ground, I would be on the deer carcasses eating. Anyway, I'm probably not gonna check anymore for today. So the total for today is a fox and a possum. So wasn't really expecting to catch anything today. So that was cool. It rained and snowed all night. It rained all the way up, up until like about like 12 o'clock, I think, midnight. Then it started to snow and we got at least eight inches, eight plus inches. It's pretty thick out there. I'm gonna go um, take a couple deer carcasses from this year that we had and uh, I'm gonna go take them down to the river and uh, stake them down and put some snares around them too to see if I can uh, maybe uh, maybe catch some coyotes off of that with it being this cold and stuff. So, but anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get my boots on and I'll head down to the river. So see you down there. That's probably a good eight inches, I would say. Pretty deep snow. It's the deepest we've had in a while, I know. All right, guys, this snow is so dang deep. It completely covered up that snare there. So I dug it out, kind of. But uh, I'm gonna keep on going and trying to dig out my snares like I did here. Because otherwise, I probably won't catch anything for a while. Finally got to the spot I wanted to, and I got—I almost got stuck so many times. You wouldn't believe it. But got my deer carcass, and I got another one on the back here. But I don't show you guys the river. It's really neat. Whenever it's in the process of freezing, it looks really cool. Isn't that pretty? It's really cool. Just. There's so many eagles down here. Last year was traffic and I saw a total of 18 eagles one day. It was pretty. All right, guys. Sorry, there's something on the limbs, but my hands are so numb right now. Went down along the bank here where all those cobbles are walking. I set a snare there, I set a snare in that path and that path, that path and that path. So I got four snares here, then one off the bank here of the river. And I got those two deer carcasses. And that's all I'm gonna do. I think it's all I need to do. I would say once these coyotes find this, there's really no way to get to those deer carcasses. Um, so once I find them, I should be able to start catching some finally. But I went off the bank here and I could barely get back up. It's so steep here. But see you tomorrow if I don't catch one. I drove by this deep feet I had over here the first time. I didn't see anything in it, but. Turns out I did have a little coon. Which I didn't see a catch the or anything in the snow. I figured I didn't catch one. Had the DP right here. 
Pretty sweet catch. I'll take care of them and rebate this DP and I'll move on to this coyote trash I have down over there. So. Alright guys, we just got back from one and two basketball games. It's like 4.30 or something, so it's kind of uh, late. It gets dark in like 45 minutes or whatever. But uh, got a lot of snares out on dead carcasses and stuff, so hopefully I got something. But uh, anyway, me and my mom are gonna check the trap line, hopefully before it gets dark. So I'm gonna get my stuff on and I'll be headed out. Dumb dog falls all the way over here, like two miles. Now I'm gonna tie him up to this tree. Rex, bad. Stupid dog. <laughs> Just don't waste a <laughs> If he wasn't so cute. <laughs> Mom. Rex, come here. Stinker. I don't know. He's gonna throw a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tighten his collar. He's, he's probably gonna get out of this one too. I'm gonna tie you up to the tree. Oh, it's cool. Stinker. Okay. So I just want to help you do some colors. He's like, come on, Lucas. <laughs> you should go far here. Go on I feel more of the beauty when I'm alone. I don't think people will see him from there. I think it'd be okay. I would just take him back, but no, we ain't got that much daylight left. I really want to do some daylight. It's kind of hard and dark, but anyway. Got some feline fix and some bad stuff. <laughs> Down here in the big woods. Yep. I'm gonna go up here and uh, check this DP, then I'll we'll move on down the river a little farther. So I just got done with all the traps down here in the bottom, and I got two other spots up the road. But anyway, we're gonna go check those traps, and then we have a few behind the house we're gonna go check too. But I, I don't know. The coyotes always trick me, but I, I would say we'd have something down, down the river here, so. Careful. Look oh. at Douglas. Mm -hmm. Your geese down the river. It's just kind of a wait game. Whenever these coyotes find this deer, and I'll probably catch two of them here, three of them here, within one day. But uh, 
They just haven't found it for some reason yet. If I was a coyote and it was freezing out and stuff, I would be checking out these deer, but maybe it smells bad or something. I don't know how that would be to coyotes, but. Hey, so you got a pretty background back there. So how long have you, gotta, you been? I got a pretty, how long, long have you been trapping? Energy, are you serious? Yeah, how long have you been trapping? Oh, are you really want to do this? I, we gotta need to go. Huh? Uh, come on, just a little bit. How long okay. you been trapping? Oh, I've been trapping. Uh, trapping for four years. I am trying for five or six coon, but. So where have and, you learned how to do it? Mm, I mean, it means self-taught himself on snares or whatever. But I've watched a lot of YouTube videos and stuff on how to do it. Yeah. All right, well, we really got to go. Okay, let's going. go. Getting dark on. Yep, it is. I got one set over there that looks pretty good still, so should have something in it next time they run the river. Hey! <laughs> oh, I did pass. a bunch of chickens. <laughs> yeah, we need to find where these are all going, because that, that was a good 200, don't you think? Yeah. 250. Oh, there's oh. an eagle. <laughs> I heard to see on camera. All right, guys. Um, it's pretty early, and uh, today I'm going to go out. Feeling a little under the weather. Kind of got a sore throat and a headache and stuff, but still got to check my traps, so they're really in that many coyotes anywhere down there seems like anymore might have to move up the river a little ways i don't know seems like i've caught most of the coyotes down this end here but uh, and i've caught 14 of them so there's still a couple packs running around though it seems like but anyway i'm gonna go feed the cows real quick and then um then i'm gonna check my traps so stay tuned i'm excited to go get some fresh air so Cow guys, oh, I thought uh, possum. Something actually, actually came over here and demolished it. That is weird. I don't know what animal would eat a possum, but it must have been hungry. It could have been eagles that came down. You can see I caught. It's like my fourth possum we caught in this trail. I, I've caught so many possums in that past. It's crazy. Well. Got myself a coon. Or somewhere, I think. Oh yeah, that's a big sucker. <laughs> He's hiding down there. Yeah, I see you, buddy. He's just hiding his face. This little sucker. Finally, he's coming. There we go. Nice big old coon. That one's pretty much. Come here. Oh, don't go back in there. Dang it. Little turd. Alright, well, I'm going to take care of this guy. And, uh, go ahead and reset this trap. Alright, guys. Nice big old coon here. 
pretty tail on them. Real pretty kitties. Put them on the foiler and now I still got a few more to check then I should be done for the day. boys got that one sweet big old yo that oh my gosh she's, that's a pretty coyote big old pretty coyote well sweet guys that's 17 I need three more but guys this is actually the place where I uh, caught that red coyote two days ago I think yeah I literally caught a red coyote here and uh, some, I don't know how it happened, but I accidentally deleted the footage or somehow it got lost on the computer when I was editing it. And I really wish I, I really wish I could have shown you the footage, but uh, I don't know what happened to it. So the same day I caught that red coyote right there, I caught one right over the bank here. And you can definitely see a big old catch circle down there. But uh, yeah, so two days ago, yeah, I doubled here. And I caught one down here, and I caught that red coyote up here. All right, guys, sorry to pop into the video, but as you may have heard, I caught that red coyote, and uh, but I have some pictures of it, and I'll show you guys it. I think it's really cool. It's like an orangish, reddish color, and uh, but anyways, I'll show you guys these pictures real quick, and then I'll let you guys get back into the video. Yeah, I really wish I got to show you guys some of that footage of that red coyote. Three more and I can hit 20. So hopefully I can get that over this weekend. But uh, anyways, I'm gonna take care of this guy and uh, go ahead and check some of the other traps we have up the river. All right guys, today I'm with my friend Levi. We're gonna go out and uh, check all the traps I set yesterday. I set probably a dozen half in this place that there's a ton of sign. And I actually ended up catching a coyote yesterday. Anyways, we're gonna go out and check the traps and hopefully end up with a coyote this afternoon. Let's see you uh, on the trap line. I sound like Trapper J. Is the clicking the right one? No, that's it. That's it. <laughs> Just a little bit of spillage. I think it's good. Something took my snare out there. I can see there's like muddy paw prints. Probably a coyote, I'd say. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. Reset this one. Let's probably get in there. Yep, it's good. Hopefully that does it. I don't know what happened this time. Maybe it was like a something a lot smaller, like a fox or something just slipped through the top. I don't know. Hopefully we'll catch him next time. All right, guys. So a couple days ago, I did have all my traps were on that side of the road over there, and I didn't. I only caught like one cod. I think had a lot of them miss my traps and stuff. The battery pack that I have only has four minutes left, and uh, I tried to change it out, but the I forgot to ch charge the other one, so we don't have a whole lot of time to video on here today. So if we catch something, I'll show you guys a little bit, and I might have to film off my phone today. But anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys that. But we're gonna go down here and check all these traps and see what we got. Huh. I had it set right in this path here. For some reason, he's already dead, I don't know. I, must have, I guess he choked himself somehow, but there he is. Anyways, well, we got one down. We got a couple of uh, traps up here we're gonna check, and yeah. Or quit talking, this camera's about to die, so hopefully we can get a little more on film. Alright, well, got this one reset there. I think we'll probably have them there tomorrow if they come back again tonight. But, uh, we got four or five snares left and three or four coon traps, so stay tuned. Got a nice little coon here. The trap's still on the ground. Oh, he's got both of his hands in there. That's pretty cool, we got both of his paws in there. 
by these big old trees. Curry coon. Got something to say before you die? Nice coon. We're gonna take care of him, and then that should be about it for today. All right, guys. Yesterday, me and my friend Levi checked traps, and we caught a coyote and a coon. And we also reset a bunch yesterday, and I'm uh, trying to get two more before uh, season ends in four days, uh, trapping season. So I, I think I'll be able to get there. I got four days to catch two coyotes, and I've been catching them just about one every day. But I'll probably jinx myself now, of course. But anyways, I'm going to go head out there and uh, check my traps. So stay tuned. I'll be out there shortly. something coon had it right about here that trap see right back up in there we got a big old nice pretty coon it looks like there you go awesome there's one see this huge game trail right here got two other traps right up here I'm gonna go check coon traps by this big old den tree Oliver's gone. Oh, there's one. <laughs> you kidding? You, you kidding? We had a condor bear right there, and uh, I had a foothold right here with a whole bunch of dog food. And uh, this guy got caught by the condor bear, and then he put both back legs in the foothold. <laughs> no chance he was getting away. It's not even fair. <laughs> Both back legs. <laughs> That's crazy. I honestly probably would have caught another one there. Um, you saw that um, condor bear was kind of back farther on that coon. So he got all, almost all the way through that condor bear before it closed on him. But if I would have got like a head catch or something and uh, he wouldn't have stepped in that foothold, we might have got another one. But oh well. We'll take care of this guy and get that guy and I'm gonna reset these traps. Got two coons so far and I'll move on down the line once I get these two reset. Alright guys, just got these coons back. This is a nice big old coon. Really pretty coon. And then this guy. This guy's really cool big old coon. This one's probably even bigger. Check out his tail. Isn't that pretty? I'm probably going to keep this one. Just a big old fat coon. Gorgeous. But big old male. But it's another one. That last coon broke off my dang uh, the wire things that are on here. There's two little wire tongs sticking down. That would trip the coon or whatever or whatever animal comes through it and uh just broke it off there i guess i'm gonna try to fix it i think i finally got this it took me a little bit but i think it'll work it's pretty makeshift but it's gonna have to do for right now. There it is. This wire ain't the stiffest or anything, but I'll just set it on the lightest setting. 
and I might put it from the bottom up because those things have a better chance of uh, tripping it whenever this is on the bottom. So I'm going to go reset these and then I'll go move on to my traps I have over there. Alright guys, got that set. I think it'll work. And I got my foothold set right here. And I'm not trying to get a coyote or anything, so it doesn't have to be special at all. There's on both sides of that. Trying to eliminate some of the coons, because there's a bunch of them around here. Had a coyote stuck directly on my foothold. Right, right on the edge of the pan, I guess. But stinking, uh, it was stinking froze, so it didn't go off, of course. But I could have had another one. All right, guys, just got done. I don't really catch anything else. Just these two coons. Got that one pretty one. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna feed the cows, and then that's gonna be it today. Um, I guess I'll see you guys tomorrow. I got four days left, and still got two cards. Still got two coyotes to catch, so stay tuned. All right, guys, got like two or only two days left, I think. Maybe two or three days left, so it's coming down to the wire here. If I want to get to 20 coyotes, I better catch at least one today, I'm hoping. So I'm going to go out there, check my traps, and uh, hopefully I got something. If anything, I would say we'd have at least a coon. Yeah, stay tuned. I'll be out there in just a bit. I just checked this trap and the one back here with the bank and those coyotes haven't run the river in several days now and uh, the one time they run the, this river up this way again I'll probably catch one but for right now I don't know where those coyotes are at. Ugh. All right guys, I didn't catch anything at all. It's a pretty lame day. I guess I just, it was because I didn't catch anything but I don't know. The coyotes are all smart than me. I had a coyote come pretty close to some of my traps, but didn't quite get in it. And, uh, yeah, I ain't got much else to say. All right, guys. So tomorrow's my last day, but I'm going to go check my traps today and hope I got at least one coyote. I don't know. If I don't catch one today, I doubt I'll get to 20, but um, I've already had a really good season and everything. But, anyways, I'm going to try to hurry again today because the Chiefs are playing here in like 30, 40, 45 minutes or so, and I don't want to miss that game. But uh, anyways, I'm hopping the foiler, get dressed real quick, and uh, head out there. Well, dang it. And you can see I had one. Sometimes you can see there's hair in it or something. Yeah, you can see there's a little bit of hair right there. I'm sure that's coyote hair. Oh my gosh, how did he do that? It's a crazy thing. Hung himself. <laughs> Adds a 19. Stinking go. I had that thing set right about here. Huh, that's too bad. Wish I could have got him alive still here, but he managed to uh, get that raft around and that raft around and hung himself. I need one more coyote tomorrow if I don't catch it today. But yeah, I'm gonna grab this coyote. I'll let you guys get a little better look at him. I'll get him out of the snare, but yeah, 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 yeah. Goodness, what a What did you 
trees. This sucker's huge. That is a giant coyote. Oh my gosh, are you kidding? This thing is huge. Oh my goodness. That thing's absolutely monstrous. Look at that. That thing is a beast. I would say this thing's like 35 pounds maybe, I don't know. It's a big coyote, for sure. Definitely the biggest coyote I've caught in this year. Oh my goodness. You kidding? I would say this is a good one to end on, but I need one more. Goodness, he's just got a big old face on him. Big old muddy little rascal. All right, I got four or five snares left and a couple of these peas I'm gonna go check. And one bobcat foothold, but I've got about 2% confidence in that bobcat foothold. It's been out for like over, over a month and a half. I haven't even had a bobcat come close to it. I really wanted to catch a bobcat this year, but we really just don't have really any bobcats. All we have is coyotes, but. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and check the rest of my traps. Well, look what I got here. Same thing. I had a really nice uh, coyote foothold right here. But uh, yeah, there really hasn't been any coyotes running this place in a while. It's up here. I wouldn't catch anything in there. But I ended up getting a coon, so that's pretty sweet. It's like a really big coon. That thing's huge. Nice big old coon. Really pretty. Well, he's got a really bushy tail on him, too. That's pretty cool. But anyway, I'm gonna take care of this guy. Add him on with my big old coyote. I'm gonna chuck these two up here, and that should be it for today. All right guys, today's the last day of uh, trapping season and uh, I'm gonna go check my traps and if I don't catch any coyotes today, I'm not gonna get to 20, so we'll see. I I'm afraid I'm not gonna have one in my traps, but it seems like late season like this, I'm not catching as many or anything. And obviously, it's just, obviously there's not as many as around or anything. Cause I already caught 19 of them, so. <laughs> but we'll see. I'm gonna go down there and uh, see if I got anything and unsettle my traps, so. All right, I checked my first seven snares, so nothing in the first seven, but none of these snares is the ones that I thought I'd have a cat coyote in. So all my good snares, I got confidence in, I haven't checked yet. corner here. So what would have happened if the coon came through there? Oh my goodness. That shot dirt everywhere. These ones with the double spring or whatever. They're really powerful. I'm going to uh Unset both of these. And just like that. All right, guys, it's extremely muddy in these fields. And, uh, didn't catch anything back in this corner. Only got two snares left, so it's looking like I'm not gonna get one more. All right, well, just checked my last two traps here. Didn't catch anything. Had my chance, I had one walk up to it, but I don't know, I think he went out onto the river, onto the frozen ice. But anyways, I didn't get to my 20, but that's all right. I don't think there's a whole lot left. Obviously there's one, but I definitely, um, definitely thinned them out. There'll probably be twice as many next year when I come back. Seems like whenever you take out a whole bunch of coyotes, 
there's just more that move in, it seems like. Yeah, I definitely could have had 20, could have had like 25, but uh, there's just a lot of things that went wrong. You guys probably wonder, wondering why I don't, I didn't catch anything in my uh, footholds too. And uh, cause I haven't caught one coyote in a foothold all year. That's because uh, my night latch, I filed it a little bit after I uh, waxed it and everything. Cause you're supposed to knock off some of that wax. And I filed it a little too much and so it was set really heavy. And uh, I had four to five, actually more than I had, like six coyotes come and step right in my trap and uh, right in the pan and didn't do anything. I actually had two coyotes pull my snares too, my stakes. I had one pull my earth anchor too, so that would have been, I'd had 21 coyotes there. But anyways, I had my chances and uh, I'm, I'm not upset that I didn't get 20 of them. Completely happy that I got 19. I pretty much shattered my record in last year. Last year I just got 12, and this year I got 19 and two foxes and a bunch of coons. But, anyways, that's going to be it for this series, I think. I'm obviously not going to be doing any more trapping until next year, so stay tuned. Turkey season's coming up, and uh, I'll probably definitely be making some videos then. Anyways, I guess I'll see you guys this spring or whenever uh, turkey season rolls around. Peace out. Thanks for watching.